guys. So dinner tonight is going to be cabbage rolls. And I'm going to show you what you need real quick. I have peeled apart six cabbage leaves. If you pull them from this side, they'll break. But if you cut the bottom and you peel it that way, they seem to stay intact. So I have six of those. I'm just going to drop them in my water. One of them broke, but I can still roll it up pretty good probably. So we're just going to cook those for just a couple minutes just to get them soft so we can roll them around. I might need to add a little bit more water to it. Okay, and so I have three ounces of ground mousse in here. To that, I don't want these to be too full with mousse, so I'm going to add a cup of rice to this mixture. That's a half. I'm actually going to add another half of a cup. And this is just brown rice that I cooked the other night when I made the spinach rice casserole. And let's go ahead and just add another half cup. Two cups of rice in there, which is a total of 11 points. So, I have just a small baking dish here. And then I have two cans of this tomato sauce that I got a while ago. Each can is two points. So instead of greasing the pan, I'm going to pour some of my tomato sauce in there, just to coat the bottom. Okay, so that is good, set to go. I'm going to cook this ground mousse up. Um, I'm going to pull out some seasonings and I'll show you what I decide to use. So I will show you in just a couple minutes. Okay, so I strained my cabbage leaves. And I laid them out on a piece of parchment paper just so it can kind of soak up the ex excess water. And then this is my mixture. I added some green onions to it because I just had a couple in the fridge. And I have added a fourth of a cup of egg to this. And I'm adding the egg because I want it to kind of hold together and not crumble apart. And I did stick this in the fridge for a couple minutes just because... I didn't want to pour the eggs in there and then have the eggs scramble on me if it was too hot. Okay, so I got my six leaves here. I'm going to rinse this out real quick. I'm just going to spoon spoon a little bit in each one and then I'm going to roll them up. this one. Okay. I'm going to roll them in there. It kind of already folds over right where you need it to go. And then I'm going to put them this uh, sealed side down in my baking dish. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest. Kind of fold it like a burrito almost. I'm 
one more to squeeze in there. I probably could have used the baking dish a little bit bigger, but oh well. I will make it fit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I have the rest of my can of tomato sauce. I'm just going to pour it over the top. And I think that's plenty, so it's kind of unfortunate I already opened this one, but I'm just going to save that for something else to use later. Okay, so I'm going to cover this up and bake it at 350 for probably about, I don't know, maybe 25, 35 minutes or so. So once I'm finished with that, I'll show you a picture of it. I'm not exactly sure how many points this is going to be. Um, I will tally it up and I will put it at the end of the video and show you how much it was for each uh, item that I used. So I'm going to stick this in the oven after I cover it up. So I hope you guys liked the video. I'll talk to you later. Bye!